Well, I guess the first one that was my second attempt to doing a Universal Yums video. So this month is Spain, which is awesome. I had a feeling like it was. They said something about corn nuts and like bullfighting. So obviously when you think of bullfighting or running of the bulls, Spain, you know, Barcelona, Madrid, all the cities. They give you, like I said, a cute little booklet. So welcome to Spain. There's extra snacks if you have like, I guess, the larger young and box. Um, even has like how you say the colors. I took Spanish in high school and... Besides that, I'm half Mexican, so I kind of know some of the stuff. But this is different, though. It's Spaniard. It's not, like, Mexican stuff, obviously. So, the first one... I'm, like, looking like a hot mess right now. Don't mind me. The chips. It's called Abuela Nieves Artesian Potato Chips. Iberian ham flavored potato chips. So, Iberian ham, it's almost like prosciutto, I guess, is the best to describe it. Being how I can tell you that. And this is what they look like. Let's see. Holding my phone while. Let's see if this works. Hmm, kind of does. Well, do like this. Actually, that does work out quite well. Ooh. Or not. <laughs> so, this. Kind of get like a hands from it, I guess you would say. And this is what they look like. like your standard potato chips. I think these are cattle cooked from what I was reading. Yeah. Let's see. So, that's what they look like. Mm hmm. What do you think? Almost like prosciutto and a chip. So you get the smokiness, you get the saltiness, you get the crispness. Mm. Not too bad. And what's cool about this too is you can see recipe. That bad are like pre aperitivo, I guess, and snacks um, in Spain, like little plates of food, and you share them communally. I've been to a couple tapas restaurants in Chicago, and they're really, really good. So, that was the first one. Kind of salty. It's a cookie. It's called Carmen Lupianes. Tortas Asiete. So, Asiete is olive oil in Spanish. And this has, I think, what it said in here? Cinnamon. So... In Spanish, it's called canela. It looks like. Also, there's a tea. I don't know if the Spanish introduced it to the Mexicans, but if you're Hispanic or if you're Mexican, I'm sure you're pretty aware of canela, which is a tea. It's really, really good. We could a crappy cold day because for some reason, April won't get it together, girl. It smells good. Looks a piece of it. Mmm. It's pleasant. Kind of get a bit of the cinnamon flavor. Where's the M? Let me get the anise. It's like a biscotti. The like biscottis are a little more on the drier side. Next stop. Is la casitos gold Spanish it means oro and from what I was reading it says chocolate de caramelo so and I thought oh it's like a Rolo or something they kind of look like M&Ms and they're really good it's like a um, caramel out part out, like crunchy caramel out part <clears throat> pardon me a chocolate inside a little ding but kind of like a Reese's Pieces Slash, um, Eminem. They're kind of on the crunchier side. They're pretty good. I like them. They're kind of sweet, though. 
And this is what came in the yum bag. The open up. Pardon me for a second. And ooh, this is very soft. There's two cakes in there, it feels like. It's called Monte Cara Dobo de Limon. So Limon means lemon in Spanish. And it said Manteca means butter, I guess. I forgot. Maybe in Spanish it was high school. But being half Mexican, I think Manteca, I think lard. So when you make tamales, you put Manteca with the thing to... It's a little different, but we have obviously adapted a lot of our culture from Spain. It's not a very flattering angle. Okay. Let's do it. I guess it's so good. This is the packaging. It's white. Um, La Forte Antequierra. Sabor Limon. So, lemon flavor. Sabor Limon. Oh, they're like little cakes. They're cute. They kind of, they're soft. A little broken, but. Mmm. Mmm. Kind of reminds me of the marzipan. With the de rosas. That's really a little bit. This would be nice with some coffee. Most definitely. The coffee. Chocolate. Pretty good. Next one. I'm kind of not a big fan of citrus and chocolate. Just my thing. Scalaticias. Nel raja al chocolate. So, nel raja means orange. Al chocolate, chocolate. The packaging. Candy corn. But if it's Valencia orange, those are known to be the sweetest. This is what it looks like. It makes me look like there's rind and all. You know what? Those are actually not that bad. It's not that bad at all. I'm pleasantly surprised. Chocolate's like a little sweet. It's more on the dark chocolate side. Kind of overpowers it. Like candy, so you get the rind in there. I'm not quite very, pardon me, pleasantly surprised by this. Mm. Really? Mm, pardon me. Why is it too bad? Pleasantly surprised by that. I'm actually very pleasantly surprised. Um, next one is a savory snack called. It's made by the company Aspil. Puntazos mix. Cocktail de maíz. Maíz means corn in Spanish. Um, some some like little corn snacks. I think there's yeah, there's little corn nuts in there. I'm sorry, it's almost like the fritos. So yeah, it's like a cocktail. So if you go to the bar, maybe bring your like a like a drink or something you can serve in Spain. I'm bring in Italy and get like the peanuts and stuff. It's enticing to drink more, obviously. When I took a class in college, help your snacks. Make you drink more alcohol. Proven fact. Like this. Uh, oops, one cup. I think that might have been. What's a little estrella? Which is star. Barbecue flavor. Hmm. Pretty good. Smoky, sweet. Ooh. A little hint of spice. Can we cayenne? I don't know if there's cayenne in I shouldn't say that. Flavorings. Does not say. Little puppy shapes, that are stray out stars. Here we go. Here's some corns, corn nuts. 
Mm. And this is kind of reminds me of a corn nut. It's a little Frito. Hmm. Not too bad. Not too bad. It is salty. Obviously, it's savory salty. Mm. Pardon me. I'm the palate and hydrate yourself. I don't think there is as much different. So, next up on the list is Shiki Shin. These are made by the same company, Aspil. Aperitivo de Patata. Sabor Babacua. So, barbecue flavor. Same company. It's another savory snack. I must like. Oops. A lot of water. Here you go. Um, a lot of barbecue flavor things. Playing. Oh, I'm not familiar with the barbecue flavor. I guess it's the Asian theme. Shiki Shin. Maybe Chinese, Japanese. I don't like Rising Sun from Japan. Yeah. I don't like the rice. So, fried potato. Mm-hmm. It smells like barbecue. It doesn't really taste like barbecue to me, though. And other ones? Definitely barbecue flavored. Next two, their last, their candies. The first one is... Crema de pistachio, which is pistachios. It's a pistachio toffee. Ooh. I like pistachios. Mm -hmm. Very Italian. Very popular in Italy as well. The packaging is pretty. It's gold. El Castillo. Yeah, it's a caramel. Kind of. Like where there's like the texture. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. I get the mm-hmm. Pistachio, like sweet mm. Mm. Like the ice cream. Her pistachio and ice cream. Mm-hmm. I had what it tastes like, kind of. The soft caramel. I think toffee. I think harder. Crunchy. Like a Heath bar. Mm hmm. Very true. Find me, but mm. I need water to cleanse the top. Chocolate con piñones, like I said, the tapela or tapaya, double L. Spanish pronounces Y. So, the chocolate one looks like it's a soft type of caramel. Mm. Mhm. You definitely can taste the pineapple. Very. It's toasty. Earthy. Mm. 
Very chewy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And this is like how you see colors and stuff. I'm just like showing him. I'm showing. Oh, bonus party hang. Oh, it's a game. No, I see rojo. That's the masculine form. Roja would be feminine if you're describing something that has a feminine. There's feminine and masculine in Spanish. Aranjado, amarillo, verde, azul, morado. See, using this app called Duolingo, and they had pupura, which I had never heard before. It's in proper Spanish, but what you gonna do? Because I remember morado, that's Spanish class. It's proper. Thank you. Bye.